Question 27. The diagram shows a prism. Work out the volume of a prism. Note the diagram is not accurately drawn. Now the volume of a prism is another one of these formulae that you'll be given in the front of your exam booklet. It tells us that the volume of a prism is equal to the area of the cross section multiplied by the length. The diagram happily shows us that the cross section is just the shape that is at the end of a prism. So what we need to do is to find the area of this front shape. So what I've decided to do is to split the shape into two rectangles. This makes it much easier to find two individual areas and add them together. You could have chosen to split across this direction here. You will still find the same answer. To organise my working out, I'm just going to nickname each of these rectangles A and B. So I can show my calculations below and demonstrate where my answers are coming from. So if we look at the area of rectangle A, we have a height of 7 and a width of 4. So we can find the area of that rectangle by multiplying those two values together. 7 times 4 is 28. So that's 28 centimetres squared. Now the biggest mistake people would make here is to find the area of B, they would use 9 as the length of the base. But there's a problem there. 9 is the length of the entire shape. So to find out the length of part B, we need to take away the 4, which is part of shape A. To give us this length here, which is the actual length of B. So 4 add 5 will give us 9, so that length must be 5 centimetres. Now we can find the area of shape B. We multiply 5 by the height, 2, which is going to give us an area of 10 centimetres squared. With the area of both A and B, if we put those together, we will have the area of the cross section of the prism. So we take 28 centimetres squared, add 10 centimetres squared, which gives us 38 centimetres squared as the area of our cross section. To find the volume then, we multiply the area of our cross section, which is 38 by the depth of our shape, the length of it, which in this case is 10 centimetres, giving us a final volume of 380. Now if we look, our whole question is worth three marks. We're given the units, so we'll get the one mark for finding our final answer, one mark for finding the area of the cross section, and one for multiplying it by the length. So even if you make a problem calculation here and don't get 38 centimeters squared, you'll still get two out of the three marks.